How's it going everyone? I am Walter the Film Hermit and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the 1984 Dune directed by David Lynch and starring Kyle MacLachlan and Sean Young. Now the new Dune is going to be coming out on October 22nd and that's directed by Denny Villeneuve. And I'm very very excited to see that version. This version came out uh, on 4K, it was announced a few months ago and I wanted to check it out. I almost changed my mind on this release because honestly it costs a little too much and it's a steel book instead of a slip box. And one of the main reasons I chose this copy is because it had the original poster art on the front. And the other slip boxes that were gonna be released had a copy of the, the Arrakis Worm, which looks nice, but I wanted the original poster. And they have a version that didn't have the slip box and just had the steel book guy. I was almost gonna get that one, but then uh, my order from Zavi could not be canceled. It was already in process, so it cost too much money to ship it back and just say, fine, we'll keep it. And it make a good uh, unboxing for the channel. So this is the 1984 Dune, and I had another copy of this film before. I had the original Blu-ray that came out a few years back. And this is a film I was never crazy about, but it's a film that like I always kind of forget uh, key points of, and then I always want to revisit. And then I was like, oh yeah, this is okay. This is not great. Uh, this one also has Patrick Stewart in it. One thing I really like about Patrick Stewart is in this movie. Also, uh, oh, there's an extended cut that I've always wanted to see was available on like a Japanese laser disc years ago. And I remember it came on TV a couple times. It's called the Alan Smythe version. The Alan Smythe is a name that directors will put on a film when they don't want their name on it. And it's because the editing of that version is nearly three hours long and David Lynch wasn't involved in the editing. Even though I've heard that he wasn't involved in the editing on the theatrical edition as well. This movie had lots of production issues going into it, the budget and so forth, and it being taken out of David Lynch's hands. There's going to be a documentary coming really soon that was supposed to be part of this Arrow release, but they removed it, and a lot of people canceled their order because of it. I'm hoping they'll do a separate release for it, but I know it's going to be on the German edition. There's going to be a German edition that's going to have the extended cut, and it's also going to have that documentary as well. But I was able to find a copy of the extended cut on eBay on DVD. And even though this is a DVD version of the extended cut, honestly, when I upconverted it on my projector, it didn't look that bad. Um, it was the anamorphic widescreen, it, it was fine for what it was. Um, wasn't really crazy about this version, it's a lot longer, has more stuff, it's supposed to be closer to the book, but it had a lot of things in it that it really didn't need. And a lot of the problems that this film has, it didn't necessarily solve. But I'm excited to check out the 4K. I'm not gonna watch it until I have a chance to watch the new one, since I just watched this one a few months ago. I wanna watch the new one, and then we'll check this one out. So we'll go ahead and we'll open it up, we'll take a closer look at this 4K. Okay, so let's open up this copy of Dune. Uh, so that's the front of it there. Now, the, like I was saying earlier, the key thing I really loved about this is the fact that the original poster was on there. So this is the slip box. So let me back this up here. The steel book is inside with all the booklets and the posters in there. It's actually smaller than I expected it to be because of all the stuff it says it comes with. But let's take it. It's about the same size as my trimmer set. So there's the spine. Let me do it like this. There's the spine of it, directed by David Lynch. And those are all the features there. I don't even think I need my blade to open this. I could probably just peel this off right here. All right, let's take a look here. Cover is absolutely beautiful. I love original poster art. Sideways. Let's slip out of here. And there's your spine without the plastic glare and bonus features. So let's let's take this still book out of here first. So let's set this down right here. Okay. So the front steel book has the art. I'm gonna lay it down shot of it there. So, got the original art there. Absolutely beautiful. That's the spine there. That's the back. So let's see if it over... No, it doesn't overarch because that's the original poster, but let's see what it looks like when you open it like that. It looks damn good, honestly. It matches. I really do like that. And 
Oh, you know what I noticed? This comes off. We'll look at those in a second. And let's put on the back of the slip box. Oh, it's got the same art. I need to make sure you guys can see it. It's got the same art as the back of the steel book. It's pretty cool. So we're gonna open this baby up. It's an arrow video, so no digital copy, obviously. Uh, I was about to say, this does not remind me of any character in Doom, but I think this is a advertisement of future releases they're gonna be having. That threw me off for a second. All right, so let's take these discs out of here. So let's do this. I'm gonna go for each disc. That's the artwork there for the 4K disc. Got the original poster art. I read that these are region free, so shouldn't have any problems with them. The bonus features anyway. Should be region free. Um, here we go. High flyers. Why does it say high flyers on it? And then uh, take a look here. This one says High Flyers as well. So this is the bonus disc, and the other one is the Blu-ray version of the film. Which surprised me because usually there aren't, usually Arrow doesn't include a Blu-ray copy of the film, but looks like in this case they did. And that's the inside artwork. I'm gonna lay it down so it'd be less of a glare there. So that's the inside artwork. Uh, this is a sequence where, uh, you know, uh, they're fighting very end. We got Sting here and Kyle McLaughlin fighting and we got good old Patrick Stewart right there in the middle watching. I like that inside artwork. That's really solid and strong. Yeah, to see we put some of the extras there. We got some art cards of the same fight there. And then we have some of the Arrakis sequences there. Shot there, to Kyle McLaughlin, Kyle McLaughlin and Sean Young. Back. It looks like they all have to say back. They all have that on the back there. Okay. Good old Max von Cito. Alright, put that there. And it looks like this is the original poster. Um, I don't know if this is going to allow me to open it up and get it all in frame here, but we'll try it Put the best we can. A copy of the original poster. Love that. It's on the back. Back. I guess the back is based on another poster because that's, that's kind of the art that's on the back as well. Um, that's pretty cool. Alright, we got our arrow booklets. Let's see what we got. We got, um, what's this? I didn't say what it is. I'm just gonna quickly go through the booklets because we don't want to really spoil anyone that hasn't gotten it yet to know what's inside of here. So we got some pictures, we got some behind the scenes articles uh, about making of the film. When I saw those in the, the picture, I wasn't sure what that looked like. So this one here looks like it goes through a lot of the designs. Well, that's pretty awesome. Okay. I mean, other than missing the documentary and missing the the longer version of the film, this is a pretty nice set. I'm pretty satisfied with it. I'm gonna go ahead and just show that off one more time. There we go. This is a flawless steelbook. I really, really like it. It's a nice, uh, what I say, matte finish. It's a matte finish, but I would say, that's a matte finish. I would say it's kind of glossy, but it's a really good matte finish. Like the paint is solid. Yeah, right there. 
All right, so that's my unboxing of David Lynch's Dune. Hopefully you like this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It greatly helps the channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.